Okay, this lesson's on density, so we need to establish the meaning of the word density and talk about how to find the density of different materials and then look at calculations involving density. So here's the basic idea of density. Imagine we've got this little balance and we've got two blocks. We've got aluminium on the left-hand end and gold on the right-hand end um, and the volume of the two blocks is the same. But if we let the balance go, what's going to happen is that gold end will go down because gold is more dense than aluminium. What that means is a block of, of uh, gold the same size as aluminium will have more mass. Okay, so it's the same size, there'll be more mass because each little bit of the gold has got a greater mass than each little bit of the aluminium. Okay, so this is the idea of density, which is mass per unit volume. So the mass of one centimeter cubed of gold is 19 grams. So we say it's got a density of 19 grams per centimeter cubed. 19 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, aluminium is only 2.7. So we'd have to have 7 centimetres cubed to have the same amount of mass. So if this aluminium block was 7 times the volume, then it might make the balance balance. OK, so we can summarise this, that in this equation. Density equals mass divided by volume. OK, so in our case we've got 19 grams is 1 centimetre cubed, so density is 19. But if we add 2 centimetre cubed, then we'd have 38 grams but the density would stay the same because it would be 38 divided by 2 would still be 19 grams. Okay, we can put that into a triangle if we need to. Uh, this is one that you do have to learn, but if you understand the identity, idea of density, you'll understand its mass divided by volume. And if you want to work out the mass, you do the density times the volume. So although you do need to know it, you might not need to sit down and learn it as long as you can understand the concept of what density means. Okay, notice the units, the proper units, the SI unit for mass is the kilogram, but because that's quite a large amount of mass, we tend in science, in lessons we tend to be doing things in grams, so we get grams per centimetre cubed, but you might get kilograms per metre cubed, because volume might be either measured in centimetres cubed, which is a sort of handy, useful sized unit for us to use in schools, or metres cubed, which is the proper SI unit for volume. OK, so if we try to just make this clear, here's three blocks, they've got the same volume, but different masses, which one's the highest density? Well, it'll be the one with the biggest mass, because the same volume has more mass, because the density of the block is higher. So in this one, the highest density is B, same volume, but highest mass. If we look at this one, we've got the same mass for each block, which one's got the highest density? Well, it's going to be the one where that mass comes in the smallest amount of volume. So in this case, C has got the highest density. Okay, now you might be able to just work those out with a little bit of sort of feel for it, but where it gets tricky is where we have different masses and different volumes. Okay, where it gets a bit harder is where we've got different masses and different volumes. This is where we need our formula. So in this one, we've got 600 grams in 300 centimeters cubed, so each centimeter cubed is two grams. In this one, we've got 300 grams in 200 centimetres cubed, so it's a smaller block, and it's got less mass, but the density here you can work out is 1.5 grams per centimetre cubed, so that's less dense than this one. And then this block is 360 grams, but 120 centimetres cubed, which means that each centimetre cubed has got a mass of 3 grams. So C is the block with the highest density. Okay, so there, for example, for block A, 600 divided by 300, Okay, mass divided by volume gives us 2 grams per centimetre cubed. This one is 3 grams per centimetre cubed. Okay, just to check we've got, so the units for density, we've got grams per centimetre cubed that we normally use in a science lesson, or kilograms per metre cubed, which is the more scientific unit. Gold is much more dense than aluminium. What that means is, if you've got the same volume, so for example, one centimetre cubed of gold will have more mass than one centimetre cubed of aluminium. Okay, or if you've got the same mass, okay, then one kilogram of gold has a smaller volume than one kilogram of aluminium. Okay, we, can't, we calculate density by doing mass divided by volume, and if we've got a 240 gram object with a volume of 60 centimetres cubed, okay, it has a density of 240 divided by 60 is 4 grams per centimetre cubed. Hopefully by now you're getting the idea that, okay, you could learn the equation, 
but if you understand the concept of what density is, it's the mass of one centimetre cubed. So 240 grams in 60 centimetre cubed means each one, each centimetre cubed, must be four grams. Okay, so the, the, you might be wondering, well, why is it that gold is more dense than aluminium, for example? Right, we need some sort of model that we can use with the particles to explain why this is. So here's one suggestion. Maybe the two particles have got the same mass. So maybe gold particles and aluminium particles have the same mass, and they also have the same volume. So if you take a sort of key stage 3 model of particles, you tend to draw particles all the same size. Okay, here's my aluminium atom, here's my gold atom. They both have the same mass. Would that explain the density of the two materials? Okay, well, the number of atoms in each of each particle must be the same. To make a kilogram, okay, it's going to be a lot more than nine. There's going to be a lot of atoms. Don't worry about these units here. This is just a very, very small unit of mass. Right, but the, the masses would be the same. The number of particles would be the same. The volumes would be the same. And therefore, the density would be the same. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot of atoms there. But we know the densities aren't the same. So this model clearly isn't right. Either the particles aren't the same size, or they're not the same mass. So let's make another model. So here's a model where the particles have the same mass, but the gold one perhaps has a smaller volume. Okay, so same mass is here, but the gold one is smaller. What would happen there? Okay, well this would be our aluminium. The masses are the same, so the gold would have to have a smaller number of particles. Okay, that would mean that the density of aluminium was less than the density of gold. So that would be a model that seems to give us the right answer in terms of density. Okay, here's a third model. The two particles have the same volume, but the gold ones have more mass. Okay, so now we've got two different masses, but the volumes are the same. Here we go, so now I need nine particles of aluminium in my, in my diagram. Of course, there's billions and billions of them, but I've just drawn nine. But I'd only need a smaller number of gold particles to make the same amount of mass. Right? This would also look the right idea, wouldn't it? Because we've got a smaller volume with the same mass, therefore the density of gold is higher. So model 2 and model 3 could both explain, using the particle model, why densities are different. So we need to think about well, which one of these two models is correct. Okay, so then you need to think, perhaps you've already thought about this, think about your periodic table. Here's aluminium at number 13 in the periodic table. Okay, here's gold down here at number 79. Right, the mass number of aluminium right, is much lower than the mass number of, of gold. Okay, so what we know is, right, in fact, they haven't got the same mass. We know that gold has got a relative atomic mass of 197, aluminium is only 27. So gold atoms are actually 7.3 times heavier than aluminium atoms. So if we go back to our models, right, what that suggesting is that model 3 is in fact correct, that gold atoms are much heavier and the sizes are quite similar. Okay, so we had two models that looked like they might be correct. But in fact, it's model 3 that is correct, because we know the particles don't have the same mass. We know that, in fact, the gold particles are much, much heavier. But we still get a little bit of a question here. Have they got the same volume, or are the volumes different as well as the masses? Right, well, from the periodic table, we know that gold atoms are 7.3 times heavier. Okay. We had 197 compared with 27, so it's 7.3 times heavier than aluminium atoms. So if they were exactly the same volume, then the aluminium would have a density of 2.7. The gold would have to have a density of 7.3 times as much as that, which is 19.7 grams per centimetre cubed. Right, we actually found out it's 19.3 grams per centimetre cubed, so that tells us our model is pretty good, really. Okay, the density is a little bit less than um, we'd expected it to be. It's 19.3, we're expecting 19.7. So the gold atoms, it turns out, are slightly bigger than aluminium atoms, but only very, very slightly.